Hello friends, let's make the famous Kerala spicy potato curry, Urlu Kuriangu curry, heat oil in a pan. Add the tempering spices, which are mustard seeds, jeera and cumin seeds and some dry red chillies. Let them crackle. Add in thinly sliced onion. Mix it well and cook till they are translucent. In the meanwhile, add in ginger paste and chopped garlic, few green chilies, toss them, add in some curry leaves, cook for another one to two minutes till the onions are translucent and soft. Add in asafoetida. salt to taste and the dry spices like red chilli powder or kashmiri red chilli powder some turmeric coriander powder mix them well till the oil separates from the dry spices add in the chopped tomatoes and cook them well you can cover you can saute and cover them in between with a lid they will get mushy and soft this will take another 10 to 15 minutes because to cook the tomatoes it will take some time once the tomato are soft and mushy you can add Previously boiled potatoes, which are finely, which are cubed, and toss them well. Ensure that the masala, tomato masala, gets coated well with the potatoes, and it becomes a dry gravy kind. And cook them further ten minutes so that the masala is well coated. Once the masala is well coated, you can add coconut milk. Generally, it's preferably it's thin coconut milk and mix it well. The thin coconut milk will give a light, um, thin consistency to the curry. And if it is little thick, you can add in some water for your desired consistency once the water is added mix it well and let it cook for another 10 minutes once the curry is boiling give a stir and check the consistency of the curry add in fennel powder and freshly crushed pepper mix it well garnish with few curry leaves and drizzle thick coconut milk once the coconut milk is added immediately switch off the flame otherwise the coconut will be cuddle and a yummy urunagari curve spicy kerala potato curry is ready it can be devoured with idiyapam appam or any bread of your choice